my name is Savantika Sambar and people call me Bhumi which means Lattu not because I am very sweet it's because I'm round okay so I would like to post a question to the audience I want you all to close your eyes and imagine a princess and now how many of you imagined a girl lean fair with a long hair please raise your hands well talking about now close your eyes and again imagine a female villain how many of you imagine the girl to be fat dark skinned with a short hair like this well this is what is the message we are giving to our youngsters when we tell the kids that being thin means being good because princesses are good then i am supposed to be thin being fat being fat is bad that's why fat people get bullied okay so before even introducing myself i posted a set of harsh words you people would have wondered is this how we are supposed to start a ted talk well not but those were the set of words that i myself heard as well as witnessed people hearing those from the mouth of body shamers or fat people the worst human beings is it that worse to be fat or to be full of malice envy superficiality tedium or cruelty okay so i had this privilege to witness some of the wonderful incidents in my life well i was going to my home school well my school is famous for bullying so i was waiting there to meet a old friend of mine so i was waiting outside and i saw a set of people bullying a boy and then the boy turns to the bullies and says you are not supposed to bully me you are not supposed to call me fat i am not fat and he walked off i was there astonished thinking about my past when i studied there i have seen people bully others where those people run away they are afraid but looking at this boy i was like i felt proud okay he is brave well other incidents which i read about in a blog where a woman removes a shirt and goes to a swimming pool where she is so insecure about her body that a size 12 body will be a laughing stock she knows that very well so i told that i had the privilege to witness this incidents now i am i have a confusion should i be happy that these people have tremendous courage to accept themselves or should i be worried what kind of society am i living in that these amazing people need assurance to dis- to believe that they deserve basic respect in spite of the body they can have it take a step back look around take hear the conversations trust me appearance is a very great conversation starter few weeks back i went to a wedding of my cousin where a aunt who i don't even know came herself introduced to me and asked oh my god avantika you look very nice you lost few pounds right yeah that's why you look very nice oh auntie you're not that is not how you initiate a conversation you could have asked how are you what are you doing like you went to college after a long break you didn't ask that you straight away ask me oh you lost few pounds oh you look very good no we are better than this we can do better than this we must do better than this okay i was once called ugly because by my own classmate and he just came to me that person just came up to me and said you look really ugly because you're fat you have a lot of fat in your face i was not angry I was an upset either because I know I'm beautiful on my own skin. It's fine. I was never lean. What I had in my mind was who instilled this thought into that person's mind? What made him think that being fat is bad, is ugly? What kind of message is he going to pass on to his or her youngsters? That was what worried me more. So, what did I do? I am not overweight. I have to prove it. So I went home. I took a weighing scale. I stood on that, and the numbers appeared. Oh my God! The numbers were not desirable. They were not. They were not nice. So I closed my eyes and opened again. The numbers still there. The numbers were startling. 
oh my god they are not nice I close my eyes open my eyes closing again the numbers were still there they don't lie do they no okay avantika you are overweight what are we going to do right now about it while i was thinking about that i had this thought in my mind why would a friend of me would make me feel like that well people have a lot of insecurities and they project them onto us because that makes them feel better well you all need help body shaming is not just something that we do to others it's something we do to ourselves for example today i was so insecure about my body about wearing these clothes because i usually wear a cloth a dress which always covers my thighs because i feel like i have thick thighs and i'm so insecure about it but thankfully i have very amazing people in my life who always says that i look good thank you for you all and then um, okay so if they would, they would have allowed me to wear uh, ethnic wear where i would have covered my thighs or comfortably came and spoke here telling you it's uh, you have to accept yourself it's nice because i am comfortable right but right now i am in your shoes and i am still telling that it's okay to love yourself to wear the dresses you love no matter what people are going to say you beautiful and not only women even men practice body shaming but the ramifications of women on women is more than what we anticipate like more than the statistics says like 40 percentage of women take cosmetic surgery and in 20% of men think about getting a cosmetic surgery well when i say men we all imagine someone so muscular with beard so strong having a deep voice and when i say women we uh, imagine someone quiet well masculine uh, males are associated with large whereas females are associated with small okay well moving on what is normal and abnormal who set the standards who told that women are supposed to be small and men are supposed to be large influences at celebrities who disseminate their beautiful bodies all over social media and then all over the billboards on the corner side of the road which makes us feel subconsciously to believe that this is how i should look to be beautiful well do you think that the random folks on the road are picked up and uh, they are made to be models no they are not those people work all their lives dedicate their lives to such body if we all want to be them who will be us we are supposed to be different all these indifferences is what is going to make a world better place be short be fat be tall be thin be you well i spoke about body shaming now we supposed to stop it right because this is body shaming and it has to come to an end well children children do it uh, there was this incident when a mother and a child was walking on the road and the child was pointing at a girl who was wearing who was having a very long hair and a flawless skin and then the mother uh, the child was like oh my god mom that girl has a beautiful hair and a flawless skin and uh, his mother was like yeah yeah she is very nice uh, hair and skin and uh, she told it as if the girl hears that well the same kid pointed his hands towards a fat girl and said like she's obese and then the mother was like you you're not supposed to say she's fat so automatically the kid it gets registered in the kid's mind that being fat is something to be shameful of so what are you supposed to do as a parent you are supposed to be like yeah she is fat she's strong maybe she eats a lot of fruits and vegetables so that is how you're going to impact a positive uh, thought on the child's mind being fat is not shameful and also by replacing the appearance based words like pointing out to someone and instead of saying that is uh, handsome she's beautiful instead of that we can say that is efficient is effective is fast she is fast she is graceful instead by replacing the appearance based words to ability based words you start to embracing your body for all the magnificent tasks they are doing like you start worshiping your body because that's what you're supposed to do you cannot go constantly complaining about your body you're supposed to embrace and love yourselves people are always going to comment on you be you thin thick fat whatever you are always they're going to throw spiteful words on you 
take all the negative words and turn them into positive and give it back to them because they need love. No one is you and that is your power. I hope I made it very clear to all the audience who are and it's your choice to find the guts to cease engaging in body shaming. If you have not found it yet, find it and use it. With this, I would like to thank for giving me this opportunity and also for the audience for patiently listening to me. Thank you.